Well then, Liverpool, their shaky defence and Jurgen Klopp. It's not been a great start to the season for the Reds, a 5-1 thrashing against Manchester City and now a 4-1 defeat to Tottenham. With Newcastle having conceded half as many goals as Liverpool with Rafa Benitez in control, I've heard the pub whispers. They're wondering if King Rafa wants his thrown back at Anfield. Well, we've resorted to Football Manager 2010, the season that Rafa was last in control, to see if the grass is greener on the other side. Here it is then, what if Rafa Benitez never left Liverpool in 2010, according to Football Manager. First up, and in reality, Liverpool have, and I say this with reasonable confidence, they have won absolutely nothing of significance in that time, which is a long period. After Roy Hodgson's brief stint, they did claim the League Cup with King Kenny, woo, but that was paired with an 8th place finish in the league. In the 2013-14 season, Liverpool fans were all hyped up again. This time, Brendan Rodgers' free-scoring team scored the most goals in a single England top-flight season since 1895, and they still finished runners-up. Suarez left, eventually so did Rodgers, and now we're here with Klopp. Runners-up medals in both the League Cup and UEFA Europa League, some trendy glasses, but that's about it. What about on FM? Well, just like in reality, there was a change in hands when it came to the club's ownership, but this time not until 2012 when the brilliantly named Marco Maria Macaloni took over. Presumably, he's part of the Italian Mafia. In 2013, Benitez signed a new four-year contract. Yay, Rafa forever. But then a year later, he was sacked. What the f happened there? Well, under Rafa, Liverpool finished fifth in 2011, as you can see, and claimed no other honours. Again, in 2012, things weren't great as they rocked up in sixth with no silverware. Rafa's next swing at it was the worst of the bunch, an eighth place finish and behind rivals Everton. His final bow was a decent Premier League title challenge where they finished just two points from the top spot. Bizarrely, like extremely bizarrely, two is the same number of points that Liverpool finished behind the league winners Manchester City in real life. So, if Rafa stayed in control, I'm sorry Liverpool fans, but the same or at least similar woe would have been forecasted. There would have been no Rodgers, Suarez and that crazy exciting season, and now Liverpool have ended up with Klopp. On Football Manager though, there was a ridiculous managerial replacement around this time. 31st of October 2014, Liverpool hire Mick McCarthy as manager. Now, under Mick, they actually finished third in the division and then second in 2016. How? Honestly, I have no idea. Even just taking a look at his transfers, you'll see that they're very um, Mick McCarthy-esque. 22 million spent in his first season in charge, and on who? Uh, Kevin Thompson? Anyone know who Kevin Thompson is? Apparently he played for Hibernian, Rangers, Middlesbrough and is now at non-professional team Tranent Juniors. Nice one Mick. He also made the huge coups of Stephen Warnock, brilliant. Some guy from Derry City owing 7 million on Sylvan Ebanks Blake. All of that while offloading Fernando Torres, Aga and Dirk Cow. I bet Mick was a real fan favourite then. Fortunately, Mick left in 2016 and Juan de Ramos came in and he's still at the helm right up to today's date. In real life, Ramos had short spells at Tottenham in 2008, Real Madrid the season after and was last seen at Malaga in 2016, although he is currently without a club. At Liverpool, he's pretty much managed to get them to the exact same level as they are now under Klopp. Currently, they occupy the seventh spot but already look well off the pace when it comes to the front runners, Manchester United, Tottenham and Man City. God, football manager, you are amazing. Their team, however, that's very, very different to the one now. In the sticks, they still have the one and only Pepe Riena. The 35-year-old is now in his 13th season at Anfield and has been equally reliable throughout. I'm sure Liverpool fans wouldn't have minded Pepe sticking around for a little longer, looking at the flapping and anxious glove wearers they've seen of late. Defence is typically football manager with English players who weren't that great in real life, seemingly awesome on the game. There's Chris Cohen, who in real life plays for Nottingham Forest, a ferocious Martin Skirtle, still at the heart of the defence, and also a fake player who's a 17 year old from the youth system. Oh, and not forgetting Michael Mancian, who plays at right back. He's probably Liverpool's best defender with 18 marking and tackling. I mean, he's not that good in real life, but he's still probably better than Lovren. The midfield is super weird to get your head around. I mean, look at that. It's just an odd combination. Mesut Ozil, John Bostock, Lee Catamol, and Alan Judge. 
where to start? Well, I've touched on John Bostock before. He's incredible in the game. An England ace having developed from a wonder kid in 2010 and essentially stepping into Steven Gerrard's shoes. Ozil was the big name here and Liverpool was his choice of club having never ventured out from Werder Bremen before. He's a steady 7.6 performer on the game and undoubtedly the Reds wouldn't mind him in their real life team. Although the same probably can't be said for Alan Judge. Leading the line is Dalla Valle and Adrian. Along with Ozil, Laurie Dallavalle and Adrian have both entered the Liverpool favoured personnel section, which puts them up there with the likes of Fernando Torres. The Finnish Dallavalle is worth 15 million, having burst through the youth system and onto the centre stage, tucking away 15 goals or more over the past few seasons. In reality, of course, he left Liverpool, tried to play everywhere, but couldn't even get in the team at Exeter City. Oh, and now he plays in Serbia. You'll know Adrian as he's a reasonably decent striker in both senses of the game and real life, playing for Atletico Madrid, FC Porto, and back at Deportivo La Coruña over his career. So there you have it. If Rafa Benitez never left Liverpool, well, I'm afraid they'll pretty much be in the same position. They'd still have a dodgy defence, but at least in the FM version, they would have enjoyed the humour of Mick McCarthy. Nope, I can't do it again, sorry. But if there's one thing that might swing you Liverpool fans into liking this football manager version of the team more than in real life, just look at the bench. A 37-year-old Steven Gerrard, still running out to the sound of the cop. One pace and two acceleration, but he's still quality. What a hero. That about does it for HITC Top Corner Gaming. Don't forget to like and subscribe for all your gaming needs. Of course, the new football manager is out in just a couple of weeks, so we will have all the best videos on that.